Speaking of shows, actually, yeah. I love another show you're on as well, The Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and you play the mom of Josh jo Chan. Yes. Lourdes Chan. <laughs> I actually <Yeah>. watched <laughs> one of the, video, uh, the music bits that you were in. <laughs> <laughs> with your grill. <laughs> so tell us about the experience of you being on that that show. I actually oh, love that show. So, so funny. I love that because, you know, I was basically given, offered the part, and I said, great. I hadn't seen the script, I but I, you know, to play a Filipina mom was like a dream come true. I think, you know, immigrants with accents are real people. <laughs> that yeah. it's just layer that they have. It so normalizes I, I, them, is that basically? Yeah, so I, I'm not making fun, I'm not making a character of the accent, I'm making a character that has an accent. So when they called, I thought they were going to say, oh, you know, uh, we'd like you not to do an accent, and I thought, oh, okay, I can still, you know, make a person out of this, <laughs> this mother. But the guy was like, the guy, writer of the episode, called and said, do you think you could do an accent? And I thought, can I? I mean, I played a Filipina mom several times at the Asian American Theater Company, and I was the voice of Philippine Airlines for six years. I could do a Filipino. Yes. So I was like, yes, I can do it. And so happy. And uh, that episode where I'm doing the singing, all the extras were Filipino. Uh, you know, and of course, m the people who are playing my daughter and uh, Vincent Rodriguez is Filipino. So they have mothers that have the accent. So I also had people around me who could correct me if I was wrong with anything. It was wonderful. It was like the best job ever. Do you, you know, know why do the? Happen. Do you know why the last name is Chan? That's actually a Chinese last name. Is it because well, they're they're Chinese from Filipino Philip the Philippines or is that why? Yeah. So oh, there's a lot of Chinese Filipinos. Oh. In the, in the Chinese, they went everywhere. Oh, so Josh Chan is a Chinese Filipino, basically. Yes. Oh, I understand now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm... From uh, Peru or Brazil, like Jorge Tanaka. They have like a Japanese name, <laughs> but their first name, and then they speak with the Brazilian accent. Yeah. It blows your mind whenever you see. Yeah, I have a friend that actually speaks fluent Spanish from Ecuador. That's Chinese. Exactly. <laughs> the Asians are everywhere. <laughs> you have another project that you're working on, Comedy Invasion. Yes. And I actually went to your performance. Yes. It was hilarious. <laughs> Tell us yeah. more about that project. Well, that project, you know, Quentin Lee called and said he wanted to do a, a, a series of one-hour specials, but I heard a one-hour special was six stand-ups, so I thought I would be doing ten minutes or something of a, an hour. <laughs> oh! So I thought that was hard, ten minutes. So then we were sort of like, you know, talking about it in more detail, and, and he said, no, Amy, no. You're doing an hour. And I said, you don't understand what stand-up is. So, but then I thought I should take a chance. And so I did. And I rehearsed like a show. Also, you, I saw that you just got casted for a pilot, an ABC pilot with Rob Riggle's single yes. dad comedy. Uh, I know that it's uh, kind of new, uh, so you can't shed too many, too many new details, but uh, tell us a little bit about what you can tell us. Well, it's a pilot that uh, is written or created by uh, somebody who had this experience. It was based on her childhood. And uh, Rob Riggle plays a writer who moves to Queens with his two daughters. He's newly single and he has to learn how to be a mom as well as a dad to these two girls. And it's funny and touching and sweet. And I just play one of the neighbors. And it's really diverse. And, of course, uh, I am a Mrs. Kim. So it feels like a full circle. Mrs. Kim in the 90s, 95. And Mrs. Kim again in 90, no, 2017. And it's a, well, one of my characters wonderful. She has a lot of advice for him. 
that's, you know, pretty old school. And I, I don't know, it's just a really sweet, wonderful show. And I hope it gets picked up. Yeah, and it, and it is especially full circle because you're also playing Mrs. Kim on an yep. ABC show. That's right. <laughs> Uh, tell us about any other new projects that you, that's coming up for you. On uh, Amazon Prime, I'm doing a show called Just Add Magic. We're going into our fourth season. And uh, that one I play a witch, Mama P. And it's a huge hit on Amazon Prime for not just kids. It's a, kind of a tween uh, show. But, you know... Uh, my plate is full. I'm very lucky because there's so many platforms now. Um, but I'm also a single mom of a 16-year-old. So I'm trying to balance my work life and my uh, personal life as much as I can. Well, we are so excited for you, Amy. We are going to be looking out for your projects. Hey. We thank you so much for joining us today for Amy Lou Presents. We, Yay! We enjoyed having you so much. <laughs> Good luck on everything you're doing, too! Thank you so much, Amy! Okay. <laughs> Bye! Thanks so much, everybody, for watching Amy Liu Presents. Check me out at YouTube and iTunes. Please subscribe if you like what you see. And also, I'm at www.amyliu.com for my website. And also, at Amy Liu Media for my social media. Follow me for the latest updates. Thanks so much and have a great day.